puny mortals. Your judgment is at hand! I see you have returned, dear Saiyan. Thanks to you, my power will only grow to greater heights! God did in the past can affect me. I can't believe he actually killed a Supreme Kai. But of course. As you know, only a Supreme Kai can wield the power of the Time Rose. To bring about the justice I desire, I needed the perfect sympathizer as my ally. A fighter I could trust, who agonized as I did over the folly of mortal Kai. Someone I knew for certain longed for the same grand utopia in their heart. In other words, he needed me. In this reality you see as an ultimate future, I was floundering in despair. I lacked the will to act. I knew from the box of rings this parallel future existed, as I came to forge my alliance. <laughs> Mercy shall not come. Say That's immaturity. Retribution. Scatter to the wind. Finish. I'm not done. Turn anger into power. Huh. <laughs> I have Turn anger into power. Huh. You fool. You must pay for your sins against time. Now die! Maybe I am a sinner, but I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to save this planet. How done it. I didn't think you were capable of reaching this level of power. Does make for the perfect Turn anger into power. My limitless wrath makes me the strongest being in the universe. I'll hold them off and give them everything I've got, but in case I fail, you need to find a way to defeat them!
Goku and the others are back, as expected. So, the curtain rises, and our Act 3 begins. Our Master Goesu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. As a result, you malefactors have developed time travel, a privilege only meant for the Kais. This machine is the quintessential reason why your kind must be eliminated. Well, it appears they're not listening to you. No matter. I'm so intoxicated by myself, I don't care if I have an audience. One of the many benefits of being a god. Fine. What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. These bodies are a gift from the gods, as is their energy. But you arrogant saints act as if you created this strength all on your own! figured it out. The reason for the runaway growth in your power level compared to my own. It's anger, isn't it? Watching us hurt your son made you angry, which made you stronger. So that's how Saiyan strength works. How primal. Turning your raw emotions into power. Only a pathetic mortal like yourself could thrive on a tactic that unrefined. Which explains why it took me so long to realize it. Then I, too, shall use my anger. Anger toward the mortals who defile the universe. Anger toward the other gods who have tolerated such behavior. And most importantly, the white, hot rage I now feel toward myself for letting you get the upper hand on me in our battle. Hm? The gods sink you! They are me! This was just the start. Channeling my divine rage into power, I have forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This sign will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. Eat them. Turn anger into power. Run into some trouble completing his part of our gambit. The gods sink it! My limit. Brace yourself against those mortals. We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about mortals were badly mistaken. They are much more than just insignificant worms. If we're not careful, our dream of utopia is going to be ruined before it's even begun. Very well. No more games or half-measures. 
because these insolent mortals continue to defy and profane us, we will reveal to them the ultimate power of the gods. It's time to show them divine perfection made whole. You pathetic, lowly mortals. Kneel before our radiance! So this is your move! Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor! Worship me. Give praise unto me. Me, the beauty. The sublime, me, the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail, Samus. I can feel it. Two glorious and unparalleled powers dissolving into one within me. So he's even stronger now. That's just what we need. Power coursing through me is exceptional. Glorious, absolute, stare in all. I am justice incarnate. Trumps, keep Bomler safe. You insult, minuscule saints. Bear witness as I show you the power of my divine light. Hearken unto me. I am the brightly glowing sun in the sky which illuminates this world. And all shall I know that my brilliance is justice. I, the god Zamasu, am the universal wisdom, the universal law, and yes, the universal power. And all those who my light shine to shall be obliterated. At long last, on this glorious day, Project Zero Mortal will culminate with the eradication of all life on this planet. Then, Utopia will rise from the ashes. What the hell is he talking about? Don't get ahead of yourself, Zombies. First, you have to beat me. Lowly, my face. Still denying the inevitable. Perhaps a further demonstration of my power will help you face the truth. Now, to rend the land, cleanse it of all that is in So begins the Jubilee, heralding the arrival of a divine new world! This is the definition of justice, power, wisdom, flame. Light return with vengeance to consecrate anew this divine Now the unclean world, stained with a violent plague of mortal kind, is renewed. For it's over. Go kill! Samasu! Get ready, cause I'm knocking your lights up for Good! You simple-minded, barbarous Saiyan! The light of the mortals that will soon be extinguished! This is true justice! Yeah! Just! Not yet! Here I am. Here I go. It's a great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it not? The beginnings of a new era abide on this planet. Lightning of absolution! It's over. <laughs> Blasphemous fool! 
You continue to defy our God! Light of divine justice, strike at me now! A cowering god who appeases evil can never prevail! Who are you? Get ready for this! You two doubled up, so we did the same. You know, just to play fair. We're a merged fighter, the combination of Vegeta and Kakarot. Vegito! And here's something new. Vegito Blue! Yeah! You may be more powerful, but you're still not a god! Yeah. That mortals always try to emulate the divine. Now why is that? Is it because we gods are so wondrous? Are you coveting our undeniable beauty? It's so tragic. You are doomed to fail. Active gods are beautiful because we are inherently pure while mortal endeavors will inevitably become wicked. Corrupted and marred by sin. Sorry, but if you want me bowed at your feet, you'll have to do it by force. I don't need your prostrations, mortal. I just need you dead. are the ultimate symbol of the failure of mankind. By taking flesh I have shown both the things of and the failure of divinity, so they may never be repeated. Got an answer for everything, huh? You see, I do this for the good of the cosmos. For creation! Are you seriously crying? I am. And proudly so. My tears shall sanctify this blighted world. You must expand a pure and perfect multiverse made clean by Samasu's hand! Over here! Until I get serious. This is the end for you! Uh... Final! Now jump on this! Take this! Now jump on this! 
of your pathetic mortal herd, or this time will you try that future? How will you compensate for your weakness now? Compared to gods, of course we're weak, but you can never make me ashamed of that, because when mortals do join forces, that's when we can do anything, because believing in our fellow man and helping each other to survive, that's what redeems us. That's what makes us who we are, makes us worthy. That's what gives us our real power! Strike a god and retaliate against justice! I don't give a damn about you or your so called justice! Here we go, everyone! I can feel it! Keep it coming, guys! Share your power with me! But how? It can't be! existence. 